A question that comes up a lot for people just getting started out on YouTube and it might have come up for you is when do I start getting paid? Now that question came through in Tuesday night's Q&A when I had the pleasure of interviewing Dean Aston. He is the web enthusiast, the Kirby enthusiast. Dean is further on in his YouTube journey than I am and he has monetized his channel in a lot of different and really interesting ways. So we dove into that on Tuesday and you can catch the replay. I'll link it at the end of this video. But for now, I'm gonna show you this highlight from Tuesday. So stick around and We'll tell you all the ways where you can make money on YouTube. Awesome. YouTube will pay, I think it's around 70% of what they pay out. So the advert, the adverts, but the YouTube, the uh, advertisers pay for, I think might be say, say it's $10, then you'll get $7 out of that, but that's per thousand views. So it's not a lot. Um, when you spread it over your channel, you've got to have more videos and you've got to have the views. I mean, my top videos got 32,000 views and that was one of my first ones and I'll watch it back and I cringe because there's a lot of ums and ahs in that. But what I found was as well, you can do affiliate marketing and you can earn a lot more from affiliate marketing even before you hit that thousand threshold. So you can do affiliate marketing with Amazon, you can do affiliate marketing with eBay and you can put the links in. So whatever you show in your video, and I always say that whoever's in my video, click the link in the description below for the best place to get your Weber products or your Kirby products. Your subscribers will go down there, they'll click the link, it doesn't cost them anymore. And Amazon, I think, is between four and 10% for every sale, um, no matter what they buy, uh, which is, it shows you support as well. And the way I look at that money is it, it's money to put back into your channel because you're not gonna earn loads, you're not gonna earn millions overnight, but if you feed it back into your channel for other apps like music and stuff like that, it will help you grow a lot quicker and a lot better and mm, just keep that engagement. And um, you often buy, uh, use that to buy stakes and things for your Weber channel, don't you? Yeah, um, with my Kirby channel and a lot of people that watch it, I mean, I've, I get like 25,000 views a month on that. But a lot of people that watch that, I've um, rebuilt Kirby, sold by secondhand Kirby's, rebuild them, sell them on. And then I've put that money back into my Weber channel to pay for the steaks and the food. So all the money I earn goes straight back into the YouTube channel at the end of the day. So I still have to work at the end of the day, but it, it's, it is growing and you've got to make, the way I look at it, you've got to make evergreen content. And that video, once it's up and it's loaded, you're going to have people watch that for years to come. And I've found that, that videos now are getting more sales off certain videos that I might have made two years ago because I've put those links in. So it's even if you're not monetized, it's worth sign up for those, those affiliate programs. And they do, Amazon do go through your channel to make sure you get a certain amount of views. They'll either say yay or nay. And you have to get at least three sales within three months. So you have your channels are monetized, plus you do affiliate marketing and you do the refurbs and sell on Kirby vacuum cleaners. Yep. It's so cool. What a cool idea. It's so brilliant. You also do merch, don't you? Yeah. Yeah, I've got merch yeah. as well. Um, the like merch, that. Uh, well, this isn't mine. This is actually what a Weber t-shirt that I wear for. Oh, Weber. right. <laughs> but I have got one. I've only made one design on my Weber channel. So I've sold a few of those. My Kirby merch has gone mad in America. That goes really, really well, which was quite surprising. My tag on the back is ditch the Dyson or something. It's like, use the Kirby, ditch the Dyson. And that, that the sales on that is doing quite well. Your diehard subscribers, they'll buy your merch, that, they'll, they'll go to your links and buy through Amazon to support your channel at the end of the day. And that's what you need is your diehard fans. Speaking of diehard fans, I've seen YouTubers use Buy Me A Coffee and Patreon. Have you thought of something like that for people who want to support you, Claire and Dan? I've looked at Patreon and YouTube do the same thing as well. I haven't signed up because my fear was it would push people away. I mean, it might not, but that was my fear was people are signing on and, and they're, they're subscribing and they're watching my videos. You can make a lot more through Patreon. Um, I've got friends in the UK who use Patreon and you know, it, it is worth it in that respect because you can earn a lot more money from Patreon compared to what YouTube ads will pay you. But my biggest fear is people paying that monthly fee and if you don't deliver that content that they're, they're wanting, they're gonna cancel it straight away. And it, it's yeah. all about consistency and quality content. I know that Dylan, my brother, um, for anyone who hasn't caught on to the fact yet that Dylan's my brother, Dylan has a Patreon uh, account and, and there have been some months like when 
he's had a baby or something like that, or there's been something that's been going on that has meant he's not been able to get the content out, that he's just like sent out a message and you can pause the payments. So if something yeah. happens that month and you can't get something out, like people are, I think pretty, they seem to be pretty forgiving. I mean, correct me if I'm wrong about that, Dylan, but it seems like people go, oh, okay, Dylan's got something going on and they they stick around because you know they love you because you're a legend or whatever i was always nervous i have been nervous about starting a patreon myself because i'm like i'm already doing a lot of stuff and i'm like to do something else feels a little bit stressful um but I'm not, I'm definitely not closed off to the idea and I do really like it. I do, I love, I do have a buy me a coffee account. So if anyone would like to buy me a coffee, <laughs> the link is in the description of this video. That link definitely is already there. I really like buy me a coffee because people have the option to just like give you a tip, like a one-off tip or whatever. So um, yeah, it is, it is good. And I think it's a nice way to, like some people just, might want to just show their gratitude for what you're creating. People know that we spend time making these videos for, you know, not much, especially in the beginning. To have an option for people to be able to financially show their gratitude, I think is a really nice thing. Um, so yeah, I'm into it. I like it. And, you know, at the end of the day, people are not obliged to do it or not do it. Um, so yeah, it's it's cool. I think it's a cool thing to consider and look into and yeah, it's nice. <laughs>